uh, you're, uh, after this European tour, you're going to the United States. Um, is that your breakthrough tour there? Um, we've been doing the odd showcase and doing the odd bit of promo there and things like that has been happening. We've had a download out there. Our music has now gone onto a lot of TV shows and a lot of things like that. So there's been a lot of bed work happening. Yeah. But the official street date for us to hit America is Patrick's Day, which ironically enough, we happen to be Irish, so that works out. It kind of works out very, um, very well. And that's going to be the kickoff of everything over there for us. So yeah, it's, it's really, I suppose, the, the, the start of us playing live music there. We've done a couple of shows there, but this is going to be, we're, we're there with Adele, which is going to be great. And she has so much hype around her right now, which is fantastic. So much, she's done so well with the Grammys, and now we, we get to go out there and kind of tap into her audience a little yeah, bit. You have you know. to lift uh, your own success with hers. Yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Raise the game, yeah. as we would say. Yeah. Okay. okay. And uh, the, your first EP was uh, released on Last of M. Yes. Uh, it, was it a new way for you to you distribute your music? I mean... Not the, really new way. We've always been active. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're very we much We try to push the envelope yeah. all the time. I mean, I think if any band, it, it's us who, who sit on the front line when it comes to new yeah. media, you know? Yeah. Okay, yeah. did, it, did it work so well for, uh, for you guys, um, it, uh, it, releasing that EP there? The thing yeah. about it, it, it works really well. In isolation, when you look at these things, they, can, they probably don't seem worth it to a lot of people, but actually, in the overall spokes of the wheel, they're, they're so important to the overall thing. So yeah, it's, it's, those things are always worth it. It's great. Okay, because uh, this afternoon I was looking on your MySpace page, mm -hmm. and then all the songs have a length of just one minute. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's, it seems contradictionary to the whole uh, idea about uh, putting your music out for free on Last of Him. Well, no, yeah, it depends what, you know, if people come to MySpace and listen to our music, they're thinking about, they're going to get and download the music that they want. They don't download music from MySpace. Nobody does. So it's just a taste of music. MySpace is not a central place to go download music from. If they've already wanted to download the music, they're going to download they the music. Go they've got it already. They've got it already. Know? They're not coming up there to listen to our music. They're coming up there to really get a sample of our music so they can go download it or whatever. You know? Which is why that minute, that minute would be you know, a nice little snippet of what we are to give yeah. people that minute maybe you know, the so best part. So they can download it somewhere else. Which is probably what they're going to do. Whatever they want to yeah. do. Yeah. Whatever they want to do. Okay, uh, last question. Uh, are you already working on some uh, new work? Uh -huh. Yeah, and is that uh, are you doing that uh, between the shows or uh, is it just on something the tour you was everywhere? Okay. Anywhere we get a chance, and it, it's tough for us these days because we're actually, as you can see, so busy with the touring and then doing interviews and stuff as well. So it's literally when we get a couple of hours, we just pull out the guitars and turn on the gear. And to just be honest, I'm not, I wasn't even listening to this interview. I was thinking of another song right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's working right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because mo most songwriters uh, get their inspiration from things around them, but yeah. if you uh, if you're just touring the whole time. I I know, I know, I yeah. I, it seems difficult to come with some original Well, do you ideas. see, with touring no, no, comes why, experiences. Why? Why do you think that? Hmm? Why? 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 Because you're just in you're the in, you're, you're in a different, different country not, every not day. You're dead. You're still living, you're still experiencing, you're still going through life. And even worse, all the shit that's happened to you before that doesn't just leave you. You know, that all, that all still carries with you. It, it, it makes it worse. Well. You're missing yeah. people every day. Yeah. You're constantly making a sacrifice to yeah. not see your family. So it's fucking probably worse. Yeah. It's more torturous for an artist to be actually on the road than it is I to be exactly. in the quaint location of some fucking beach in a, in a, yeah, in a, a studio. studio somewhere. <laughs> this is actually harder for us, so you actually have more to write about. So yeah, it, absolutely. It, it, it's going to be some kind of diary of your feelings uh, during the tour? But who knows? It's who pretty knows? much what the first We just write songs, ones, yeah. man. We just write songs. It could be so anything. It could be a stranger we meet on the street who might just say something to us and we go, ah, there's a great idea, and bang, you know? But you're in, you know, you're in a, a different country every day. Every day. That's it, you know? We're meeting <laughs> thousands of people You've got week. more than you need to, to write a song yeah. with. Enough inspiration. Uh, exactly. Yeah, 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 totally. So. Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.